Hi everyone, this is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Keep in mind the energies are fluid, so it can't go vice versa. Please don't get hung up on the signs or genders, okay? Um, everyone stick around. I got some free per personal readings coming your way. And um, I'll tell you how to do that in a moment, all right, you guys? Everyone's going to get three, and they're pretty amazing, so don't miss out, all right? Let's jump into your reading. What is up, Aries? I hope you guys are all doing well. Let's jump into your reading. All right, so what do we have? We have four swords, okay? I feel like you're meditating, contemplating. Oh, girl, okay, okay. That's how you're being seen right now. The magician, yeah, you guys are indecisive about something, but once you get your foot in the door or once you figure something out, it's like off to the races, I'm hearing. Yeah, I feel like too, a lot of bodies are gonna hit the floor. Yep, bodies hit the floor. Nine of Wands being strategic because enemies are near. All right. Wow. Yeah. You guys are, oh my God. <laughs> what? So a Scorpio? Okay, you got an enemy right here. I feel like there's a Scorpio trying to stop you. <laughs> I heard you can't stop me even if you stop me. Was that Lil Wayne? Is that Lil Wayne? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I'm laughing so hard at this. I think he's a Libra. This person could have Libra in their chart. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing somebody has Libra in their chart. Okay, this person has Libra. Um, You know that is your opposite, right? Okay, so um, you are being seen as the Queen of Swords and the Magician. You're not taking shit from anybody, Aries. I never thought you would, though. That's the thing. It's like, you, like I don't. Even if this Queen of Swords didn't pop out in that position, I just feel like you don't take shit from people. Aries does not listen to anybody. Aries does what Aries wants to do, and Aries wins. Period. I was researching yesterday. I was trying to figure out like if you know goats were related to rams, and um, because you know Capricorn is the goat, right? Because Aries, you're first. I was trying to figure out, you know, if they were related, if they had some, you know, generational um, DNA, you know, attachments. You know, I, I was trying to figure that out. Um, and they are. They are. And you know what? You the real goat. <laughs> you the real goat, Aries. You are the original goat. See, that? I don't think people realize that. You are the real goat. You the goat. All right. I feel like you have a lot. You have a lot at stake. You have a lot to worry about. A lot to. A lot to lose here. Okay. Yeah. But how you're being seen as the magician. You know the magician is very, very, very capable of manifesting, even in their lowest, like even in their weakest, like even in their darkest hour. Because the Queen of Swords, you know, too, um, I want to say this, Queen of Swords has been through a lot, right? And that's how you're being seen. I feel like in your darkest moment, somebody couldn't beat you. It's like, what What makes them think they can beat you if they can't beat you in your darkest moment? Like, if you can't beat me in my darkest hour, what makes you think you can beat me now at my best? And you haven't even reached it yet. You're, you're not even your best yet. You are the best, but I feel like you haven't even reached it yet. And with the Ace of Wands in the position of how they feel about you... And the ten of ones in reverse. Um, damn. I don't know why I'm seeing someone trading something. Someone's trading one thing or ten things for one thing. What? I feel like you gave up a lot for one thing. And this one thing, it over. I feel like it amounts to more than all the things you gave up. So it's like you gave up something like it was logical to give up this thing, these many things. OK, they, these could be possessions, but I'm um, seeing with the Ten of Wands. These are people. OK. Ooh, what? This is super weird. I feel like somebody gave up a lot of people. Aries, I don't I'm not accusing you of anything, but I feel like someone's ahead of a drug ring or something. I don't know why I'm hearing someone's the head of like a drug ring or gun ring. That's so weird. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, because she's blindfolded here. This woman is blindfolded. Somebody is the head of some sort of ring here, okay? And I feel like they're gonna give up a lot of people. If you're a celebrity, 
Oh, what? I am not dropping no names. They want me to drop names and shit. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing any of that. They want me to drop names. One of them is a Scorpio. Actually, there's a whole lot of Scorpios. Y'all know that? Getting in trouble right now. They're being exposed. Scorpios are being exposed right now. A lot of them. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, with the nine of wands, this person, oh, my God. Aries. I feel like you're not involved in this, but you're going to witness this shit, okay? I just heard Illuminati. Illuminati, 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 Illuminati. The Illuminati. The Illuminati. That's what I heard. The Illuminati. That's what it has to do with. And a lot of Scorpios. I'm not dropping their names. I'm not dropping their names. You know who they are. Y'all know who they are. One of them is an Aries North Node. Y'all go do your own research. I'm not telling you shit. Because I just heard that you know about this. And you're watching everything happen. I feel like you're saving someone. Or saving someone. Like saving people. Aries. I don't know why I'm hearing you're saving people. Or you're manipulating something to go... Not necessarily in your favor. You know, the Queen of Swords, she does wear her heart on her sleeve still, but she's very, like, cognizant. She's very, like, she's all mental. She's been hurt a lot, and that's how you're being seen. I feel like you're doing something. Like, you're, something is justified because she's, this is the, this is Libra, the number 11, all right? Justice. This is a minor arcana for the Empress, okay? You guys are doing something to save a whole lot of people, all right? With the Ace of Wands, I feel like you're saving people here. These people could have been held captive. I'm seeing like, um, oh gosh. You guys know those crates? You know those, um, what are those called? Bins? You guys know what I'm talking about. I just see a lot of those like, those bins with people in them. I don't know why I'm seeing those. I don't know what they're called. Aries, you might be saving people right now. I don't know, in the industry. If you're in the industry or if this isn't you yet, like if you're not, if this isn't you and you're not like a celebrity, then it's not for you. Because I feel like this is somebody who's, I just literally see someone with a cape on. This is a warlock. This is a wizard. This is someone who is a witch or um, some sort of mystic, okay? And that's you. That's how you're being seen as a mystic, a shaman, um, a shapeshifter. You guys are an alchemist. You could even be a musician because this is like, you know, this Gemini, Virgo, and Aries. You could be a musician because I'm getting third house. Libra, Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne is a musician. I'm seeing Eminem. I know he's a Libra. I know Kim Kardashian's a Libra. I see you guys like, I see all the Libras sticking together and the Aries sticking together and saving the world or exposing these Scorpios. There's something about these Scorpios that are being exposed, man. Yep. They're being exposed. You, it, This is about being strategic. Enemies are near. And being very methodical. All right? I feel like you guys are being very methodical. All right? You're being very, 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 very careful. Yeah, with the chariot in reverse. Like, I feel like you're not going anywhere right now. You're not traveling anywhere right now because you don't feel safe. Or there's people around you who, who are telling you or encouraging you to stay home, stay put. And you're surrounded by loved ones or you're surrounded by a lot of people because there's a lot of stuff coming out. And, and, and there's just no, it's just no, it's just not worth risking. I don't know. I don't want to say anyone's lives are in danger, but it feels like you feel tied up right now. Like, she's blindfolded. She doesn't know what's going to happen. And this is also someone who's having, like, anxiety, sleepless nights, nightmares, okay? And they're very indecisive about which side to go on, which side to pick. This is about the industry. This is about the elites, okay? Look at this man right here, the king of pentacles. That's the energy you're embodying. This, forget about what how people see you. This is what you're embodying. You're a boss, okay? Four swords. You're being... You're in some sort of like trance right now. Like in you're like in meditation about something. Going back and forth. These two confirm that you guys are in your head a lot. You're in your head a lot. And then the magician showing up and how you're being seen. People feel like you're the master. Like people are looking at you like, oh my God. 
did Aries do that? I see people go, like going to, I see like SWAT, like showing up at people's houses and bringing them outside and putting cuffs on them. And like, I don't know, I'm seeing like, people are like questioning, did Aries have something to do with this? And I'm not calling you a snitch. I feel like this is justified. Like I just said, there could even be children involved. I don't see any children here, but there could be children involved. All right. I don't know why I put those two like that. It's all right. It doesn't matter. <sighs> I feel like you're doing something for kids or something. I feel like you're saving something, Sa saving women or children or something. That's what I'm feeling, you know, because why, why is the death card directly underneath the nine of wands, which talks about enemies. The nine of wands talks about enemies. And then the eighth house talks about hidden enemies. And it also talks about sex, you know, and, um, yeah, you know, other people's money. This could be, this could be about a lot of, there's a lot of scandals I'm seeing. There's a lot of scandals that are going to come out and people are going to be blaming you or like looking at you like, did you know about this? Like people are going to be asking you questions about this and you're going to be like, well, I feel like you're going to be telling people to back off. You know, the Queen of Swords is very, I feel like, I don't know I'm hearing, I've had it up to here. I've had it, I've had it, I've had it. Stop asking me questions. I see like cameras in your face. I'm, I'm getting like someone is a celebrity here. You are a celebrity. Whoever you are I'm talking to, you are a celebrity. You want them out of your face. You're telling them to stop taking pictures of you because you don't know what's going on. I keep hearing allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Like, what is going on? Are you part of the Illuminati? Are you part of the Illuminati? And there's a Scorpio involved in all of this. I feel like the Scorpio is behind this. They are like the one weaving everything. They're the one pulling all the strings. Yes, with the nine of wands mirroring, they're the ones pulling all the fucking strings. Look at this shit. It looks like strings coming out of the freaking ground and shit. And, and I don't know why I'm seeing. Like, they're planting seeds. They're planting them, you know? They could even plant it, like, evidence and shit. I don't know what I'm hearing. This person's planting shit. And they might even blame you, Aries. Okay? I don't know. Be careful. But I feel like a lot of Libras, Geminis, and Virgos are going to have your back. Be ready. I don't know why I'm here. Be ready. You guys, you come back to this reading because I listen, those signs right there, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Libra, Taurus, they're all gonna have your back. There's a, the, but I feel like the Scorpio is trying to like take you out or take something out or do something to you or destroy your reputation. And this is definitely have this def they're telling me 100 percent this has to do with the Illuminati. Because look at the way that swords are over top of her head, like. That's like an eye. You see how that looks kind of like an eye right there? And then it kind of looks like Chanel. The Chanel, the symbol of Chanel. This person wears a lot of Chanel, okay? What? Yeah, and she's like bound. She's bound. And this, oh my God. Yeah, this is the Illuminati, you guys. This is the Illuminati. I don't even, no, it's not the Illuminati. This person is part of the Illuminati or you are part of the Illuminati, okay? There's good and bad people in the Illuminati. There's good and bad in everything in every place in every organization in every religion in every church there's good and bad in everything so like like don't when you hear the word illuminati don't attach it to satanism or you know sacrifice and shit don't attach it to that those um those ideologies that you guys have been programmed to think because they're not all about that that's not what they're about that's not what they represent none of us really even know what that's about we don't have the facts but i feel like they have something there there's they have a close eye in what's going on. They know what's going on. I feel like people, maybe, maybe even the Illuminati is exposing these people. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Okay, but I feel like you are part of a very secret society. Um, you could be, a, uh, I'm hearing for some of you, you are... You could be a mason, all right, or you're you're studying masonry, or you're looking into getting you're get, you're looking to get into masonry. I feel like a Scorpio is involved. Like they keep telling me there is a Scorpio involved, one hundred percent. And from the beginning, like I don't know why I'm hearing like this person. You may have known them. Like I don't know why I'm hearing you met this person and everything was cool, and then all of a sudden this person showed you who they really were. You guys, you might have even been in love with this person. Yeah, you got to be careful, man, because I don't, they said, you know that saying, be careful who you have children with, be careful who you fall in love with. This could be your like your ex or something, and they could be trying to take you out. They're, I'm also hearing like, if I'm going down, you're going down with me. What? Yeah, they're like, someone is really in and out about this. 
Like, should I, should I say something? Should I go back? Should I help them? Should I take care of it? Should I act like I don't know them? Should I, should I just put, should I just out all these people? Like, I know all these freaking people. They're probably going to tell on me. I might as well tell on them first. Like, I don't know why I'm seeing like someone's panicking. And you might not even know anything about this, actually. You might not be aware of this at all. You might just be just like in the crossfire. Yeah, this is giving me like, you guys might be in the crossfire. You guys are the only one that doesn't know about this. But like when you are, when you are made aware of this, I feel like you're going to do something about it, especially if like children are involved, especially if there's like women being trafficked or something. Oh yeah, definitely. You're, I feel like you're going to do it, Aries. Like you're going to speak up, you know, this, this queen of swords is very just, she's very fair. And the magician, you know, um, this is someone who's very magical, like with their words, everything they say comes to fruition. If they say something is going to happen, it happens. I feel like you just say something and all of a sudden all these people are in handcuffs. <laughs> and they deserve to be there. I feel like they deserve to be there, okay? They deserve to be there. Don't feel bad about it. Because there's there's no telling what they did. You know, there's no telling how bad it really is. Um, I feel like a lot of people try to cover some shit up and you're the one who's going to expose this. Specifically a Scorpio. There's a Scorpio hiding like a lot of information. And they know something. This this Scorpio knows a lot more than what they're leading on. And I feel like they're trying to figure out if you know something so they can beat you to the punch. Like this is someone who's trying to get information so that they can use it against you. They could even be trying to see if you know something so they can handle it. And when I, what do I mean by handle it? <laughs> I don't know. You do the math. You, you guys, you know, I don't know. I don't want to put that out there. But yeah, like I, I just want you guys to be mindful, especially if you are a celebrity and you feel like people are watching. I don't want to hurt Michael Jackson. I know he's a Virgo. Why do I feel like somebody's watching me? Oh, they want me to take this one? Okay. No, no, we're not going to take that one. Because I just had that. I just took that one out. It just slipped out, you guys. So I'm going to put it back in. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. I feel like you guys understand that you are... The only, if you're the only one that knows about this, you guys are going to be, yeah, you're probably going to speak up about this, all right? If, if Once it's made known to you, especially if it's some heinous, like, low vibrational, evil shit, like, I know, I see you doing it. I see you telling someone. I see you taking it to, like, the authorities. But you're being very careful about this because you don't know who is bought. You don't know who's paid for I don't want to hear like there are dirty cops involved. Yes. Oh my God. With the chariot, there's dirty cops involved. You guys, it's so much worse than I thought. <laughs> this is a telenovela. <laughs> Drama. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's, there's some police involved. Seven of Pentacles, the chariot. Okay, this person could be an earth sign, water sign. So like a Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, um, specifically Scorpio. All right, or Cancer. Yeah. Um, you got to be careful, all right? I love you guys. I really do. I'm, I'm, I'm like over here scratching myself. I'm like like picking, picking my face and like panicking. <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, yeah, I'm like totally like, I'm, um, what is it called? Stimming? I'm like, I'm stimming right now. You guys, it's the ASD. I'm like, I'm, I have anxiety from this. This is giving me anxiety. Oh my Lord. Um, I love you guys. I'm so sorry if this is your situation or if you feel like you're stuck. Okay. Cause the two of swords is giving me that vibe. Like someone feels trapped. They're indecisive with the eight of swords. Um, it's like an internal struggle. Like you have so much anxiety. I feel like, too, the Scorpio caused you so much mental anguish, so much pain. And they're threatening you. I feel like this person's threatening you. I don't like this. All right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. I feel like justice is going to be served. Don't worry, okay, because how you're being seen is the Queen of Swords, um, the Magician, okay? You know, the Magician is all-powerful. The Magician handles that shit. The magician is an alchemist. 
This is someone who takes the situation and turns it back on its head. You know what I mean? I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Check out your free personal readings down below. They are the second, third, and fourth link. I love you. Namaste. Oh, and don't forget to vote. All right? I love you guys. That's the first link. Namaste.